Hello guys, I am recording, yes! So, it's going to be a quick video, this is my yearly box from uh, America. Uh, nice little box there. I've already opened it, but I, I want to share this with you guys. Like I say, I normally order twice a year, if I can, from the States. Um, it was very, very hard for me to order any more than that. So, um, normally I order twice a year, maximum, but this time I'm just going to order once, so I'm hoping this is going to last me, you know, I'm sure it won't, but <laughs> I don't know. So first of all, anyway, we have got two Carter Hall, two Carter Hall there. Good stuff. Always wanted to try this. Baron's Pure Virginia. <clears throat> Meant to be 100% no topping, but a slight casing on it. So I've read on the back. A blend composed of both air cured. Air dried and flu cure Virginia tobaccos. HNH Pure Virginia is a hundred percent Virginia tobaccos from regions with the highest reputation of growing the finest Virginia leaves in the world. Like all tobaccos in the HH family, this blend has no top flavour and only minimal casing used in order to put the natural tobacco taste in front. You will experience the natural sweetness from the Virginia tobaccos. Why do you have to case it? You know, if you've got no topping on it, do they have to case it? To give it that distinctive flavour all the way through the year, I bet, isn't it? But, I don't know. I don't, when I buy something that says pure, I want pure. You know, just, that's, I love pure taste of tobaccos. You know, I don't want no topping, I don't want no casing, I don't want nothing infused, you know. So, oh god, battery's going, so i got to do this quick. So yeah, the Pure Virginia, a little uh, matured cake, kind of appealed to me. A little uh, one ounce supposed to be there, but I don't know, very, very small for one ounce. Considering they're two ounce. They're bloody big. Free Oak Syrian. McClellan's, very cool. Always wanted to try that because of the pipe community, you know. Seeing uh, Mr. Jonathan One and Grandpa Bones with that, you know, shout out, shout out. Uh, Pirate Cake. Four ounces, four ounces of that. Said it twice because you couldn't see my lips because I'm an amateur. When I do that, you can't. So four ounces parrot cake. Ah, smells so fucking good. That does that. I swear, and it's a rock solid brick. Four ounces of that. This been wanting for ages. Just like the gas. Ugh. I ain't come to that. Yeah, that shit. What an amateur. Union Square GLPs. Looking forward to that. Sounds right up my alley. And uh, I think I do like uh, Red Virginia's. Uh, yes. GLPs Gaslight. A long time waited for this. Never tried it. I haven't tried any of these. Obviously, the Cot Hall have. But all the others I ain't tried. That's why I bought them. They, they all sound, you know, like my thing. Because I know what I don't like. I know what I do like in uh, tobacco blends. And last but not least, on the Bayou, a Perique blend. When floating on the Bayou, Frog Morton prefers this rich, satisfying Balkan blend. Which is which? 
he flavors with the finest Louisiana Perique. McClellan's Tobacco Company, Kansas City, Missouri, USA. There's loads in this. 3.53 ounces. Frog Morton on the bayou. We smoke it a bit. Especially Carter Hall. Well, you smoke that in a corn cob as well. It's uh, like a party. Like a party dancing on your tongue ski. Very good. Uh, that's it guys. Oh. I, I'm all over the place today. Sorry. Uh, all over the place. Apologize for that. Uh, last but not least. Oh, yeah, baby. The way you want the tapered versions. Tapered. 100, 200, 300, 400. So if I can only have 400 pipes in a year, that's pretty good, right? I think that's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of fucking smoking. I mean, let's just... Time on. Let's just weigh it up here. There's still more. Biggest order I've ever purchased because this is like I say I'm only ordering once, so this is like probably my double. It'll last me 12 months. That's a fucking shit ton of backy right there. Yeah boy! Happy now. Happy ha. Oh. I've not tried, uh, like I said, only the Carter Hall from what uh, Pointless Pick sent me. That one and a half ounce uh, box carton. And that was all cellophane, brand new. The lighter you gave me was brand new, awesome in Imco lighter. I've, I'm yet to fill that up. And when I do, I shall be using it. And obviously, I'll show it on the video. Beautiful uh, lighter, that is. I really do like that. It's a petrol lighter. Um, what was I going to say? I'm vaping my EVOD with a little uh, tobacco in here. I bought this separate. This is a mini Pro Tank 2. So uh, it's all good. This is the best. It's better than the ones that it comes with. And it vapes a little something like this. Oh yeah, don't fuck about passion for smoke. Remember that. And I know this ain't smoke, it's vapor. You know. But it's you know you smoke the vapor, you know. You because it's the same principle, really. it's mouth to lung. But it's vapor. A lot of people, you know, don't understand until you're a smoker you know and you you want to quit the nasties the the cigarettes you know get on these this hasn't got hydronized cyanide in it you know like cigarettes have it hasn't got arsenic like cigarettes have it hasn't got rat poison in it like cigarettes have probably only minuscule amounts but trust me they've got over seven thousand chemicals and then three that I just mentioned are in cigarettes so you have this, you got vegetable glycerin, you got propylene glycol, and uh, that's found in foods, ice creams, and all that, you know. Um, and that that's the VG side of it that thickens your vapor production. Um, so I want to try and get some of that, you know, put in these little blends, and uh, make them a bit thicker. Maybe I have to put them in my cool fire four then.
I, I had to buy that. You know, this sometimes is is not enough now. You know, and need bigger vapor production. You know, by buying this and then skipping all the other ones out in between what the the YouTube uh, presented vape presenters uh, recommend. You know, I've skipped all them. I got straight to our mod, and it's good. You know, you don't need to buy all them ones in between. It's like if you first start smoking a pipe, you know, you don't have to buy a basket pipe. You can straight away go and buy a Dagnum pipe or a, a Joe case. You know, you don't have to start on the cheap little ones and the basket ones and basket pipe ones and, you know, do what the hell you want. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm doing on this. You know, I could have gone for a 200 bucks mod. I mean, that was a bit too much money for me, but uh, I think there's some coming out now. It's like... 50 60 quid you know i mean i think i paid about that for this 70 watt and that's enough you know i've not even put my clapton coils in that one yet and i'm doing uh I'm doing 25.5 watts on that 27 i pushed it the other day to to 30 and uh got a dry hit coil started burning you can taste it in the vapor but uh, they're the coils that it comes with. They're just 0 0.5 ohms. Um, and they're between 25 watts to 35. So I thought, all right, let's, you know, do it either recommend a 22 watts to start with, a couple of vapes like that, then, you know, gone up in 0.5 increments of uh, wattage. And um, it, it didn't angle it. So I think the coils are a little bit shit that they come with. But uh, I've got some Claptons, and uh, they're 30 to 70 watts. So, whew, um, looking forward to that. But uh, not as much as I am on my pipe tobacco, you know. Um, that's that's where I'm at. You know, this is just like I say, to get me off the cigarettes. And, and it's keeping me off the cigarettes. It's doing its job. It's satisfying me, you know. So... Well, we should put that there, not speak about it anymore, because, you know, this ain't a vape channel, it's pipe tobacco, and that's where my heart is. That's where my heart will always be, you know, pipe tobacco, flavour, relaxation. You don't get that kind of thing from that, you know, um, it's just to satisfy my urge for cigarettes. Um, and it's got it its own thing, you know, for, for what it does do for that, um, but it... it it doesn't compare to a pipe, you know. You you can't have relaxation sitting there. I can't anyway, because I know what the pipe's all about. But I can't sit here and press a button on a piece of steel with liquid in there. And, uh, you know, relax. I just... There's no ritual to it kind of thing. Well, there is. You're cleaning and you're filling, but, yeah, it's, it's nothing like a pipe. Yeah, so... Yeah, anyway guys, I've got to wrap it up and I uh, thought I'd share that with you. My yearly uh, order from the States. And uh, Richard that managed to uh, um, sort me that out and uh, make sure it gets to me okay. Uh, thank you sir if you're watching. Um, looking forward to trying all of them, all of them. Uh, the Gaslight is the first one I'm going to try. Because that's been uh, the one I've been uh, wanting to try for so long. And then I think Union Square, maybe the Free Oak Syrian, then the Matured Cake and maybe the Virginia. So I've got to do some jiggling about because I haven't got enough uh, mason jars. I've got to try and find mason jars that I've got a little tiny bit in, put that in the Ziploc bag, wash it out, you know, and all that good stuff and um, then I mean especially you know all these ones in the bags try and find jars for them first forget about the ones in the tin and all that you know they can stay in the tin can't they and sell it for a bit until you know probably a couple of months and I can afford to get some more jars so yes anyway guys thank you to all my subscribers like I always mention in most of my videos you're awesome, you guys. Keep on uh, watching me and liking the videos and 
you know, leave a comment, don't be shy, ask me anything you want, and, you know, if you've got any suggestions that you want to see me do in my next video, we uh, shall consider that, you know, depending on what it is, you know, within reason. <laughs> so anyway, guys, take care. Peace.